We've taken three families who we would classify as very busy, heavily scheduled families, and we've brought Carl in to slow them down. So he's our slow coach. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Carl. He's taken their normal month and turned it into something quite different. So taking out a lot of their everyday activities to, to force them to slow down. Maybe one of the main challenges of making a TV documentary about slowing down is that TV is so fast, right? So on camera, we're trying to project this idea of slow and calm, and yet behind the scenes, it's often people racing around and trying to meet deadlines and juggling four things at once. So there's a tension and a paradox there behind the scenes that maybe you don't see from the other side of the camera. The casting for me was the biggest job. It was five months non-stop, and I just basically cast every day. We narrowed it down to what we thought would be the three best families for the program and I think I think we got it right. Frankie, what's wrong? Honestly, can you please play where you're supposed to? Frankie. It's not an easy thing, I think, being in camera. I've always been aware that my methods may not suit everybody, especially in Australia, being a more laid-back country, I suppose. At times it felt a little bit uncomfortable realising that other people are going to see this and going to criticise and judge. Good. It's an ABC documentary so they don't get paid. So you have to be happy enough to invite a film crew into your house for six, seven, eight weeks um, to rearrange their lives, to be exposed you know, to the public, their relationships between each other, all of those things. Is this your typical morning? This is um, calm-ish, but yeah, it gets frantic, <laughs> it gets crazy. I was a bit deer in headlights at the beginning of it, because I'm not used to having a camera on me like that, so... And it's only afterwards people go, oh, you know, no makeup on? I'm like, no, no makeup, but when I sort of think, oh god, what am I going to look like in that short? But I don't really care. We used to run them with the, the rev meter on the red line. This is just going to back it off a little. I think you were a little reserved about what are we getting into here initially, mm. but it mm. didn't take very long to realise that you know, they went out to character assassinate us. It's pretty hard to be normal with a camera crew in your house, but the whole aim of the game is to get them to feel comfortable so they just go about their business. You have to be very responsive, always listening, aware of the story, and you work closely with the director, but then once things are happening, you're really on your own devices. You, you just have to capture it as it's happening. I guess we've all sort of guided each other in terms of the shape of the experiment and how we deliver it to the families and how we enforce it and where we've kind of tweaked it along the way. Brace yourselves, this is, this is going to be tough. Because this was such a new adventure for me, I didn't really have very clear expectations of what would come from the show. I hoped that my slow message would sink in for all three families. I just There's so many variables you can't control in a social experiment like this, so I guess I just wanted everybody to have fun and maybe learn something along the way. Oh my God. It's running, I want to be there, I need to watch. You can watch from here though, okay? Mom, I need you to cheer. Carl's very opinionated. Well, obviously he's done research on the topic and he feels strongly about it. So yeah, we butted heads a little bit. With a smile on the camera, but <laughs> we didn't agree often. Then it goes, then it goes. <laughs> The whole thing did affect me as a parent and there's quite a few elements that I want to institute into my own family. It's so easy to get caught up in being busy and everyone rushing around with very separate lives, even within one family. So it made me ponder the way we live. <laughs>